All right, so what makes Slow County, California such a desirable place to live and why are so many people choosing to move here? Well, I know it's because of this amazing year-round weather. We've got great restaurants, tasting rooms, and breweries. LA is about a three-hour drive south. Bay Area is about a three-hour drive north. The mountains are three hours that way. And in today's video, we're gonna go 30 minutes that way over to the coast and check out one of my favorite little towns of Cayucos. So let's pack up the truck, throw the dog and the kids in there, and we'll see you over in Cayucos. And if we have not met before, my name is Mark Willie. I'm a local real estate agent and mortgage professional. And I created this channel as a means to highlight all things great and sometimes not so great about living in Slow County, California. And if you wanna be notified as soon as I come out with new videos highlighting different communities and cities throughout the county, go ahead and subscribe to the channel there. If you like the video, throw me two thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get going over to Cayucas. Heading over to Highway 46 West. It's only about a 30 minute drive from where we were up in Paso. <clears throat> and uh, what are we gonna do in Cayucas? We're gonna go look at some recently sold homes. We're actually gonna go check out the most expensive home that's sold in Cayucas in 2023, six million bucks. I'll show you a house that sold uh, last year fairly recently for about the median sales price. And by the way, the median sales price in Cayucas, about 1.45 million, so it's not cheap used to be cheap, not cheap anymore. So we'll take a look at uh, those two uh, home sales from last year. And we'll show you around town. We'll, uh, we'll go down uh, Ocean Avenue where all the, uh, all the, it's a pretty small town. It's basically one main drag uh, where the restaurants and antique shops. There's a lot of antique shops there, a lot of real estate offices there. So here we are, we're gonna make a right onto 46 West right here. And then we're gonna take a shortcut in about 10 miles, we're gonna make a left onto Old Creek Road. So we'll see you at the Old Creek Road turnoff. After about 10 miles from 101, here's the shortcut, Old Creek Road, but you need to make sure that it's not closed. Sometimes, well, you'll see, this road's a little bit hairy, and in the wintertime, there's landslides and other things that sometimes block this road, but we're good to go. So it's about eight miles to the end of this road. We'll hit Highway 1. We'll be right at the uh, south end of Cayucas. We'll go north on Highway 1 about two miles to get to the downtown, so we'll see you over there. And this is it, this is uh, downtown Cayucas right here. Population only about 2,500 total, and it's known as one of the last uh, true beach towns in California. You always have nice uh, surfing waves here, a beautiful beach here. Dogs are allowed a little bit further south, but you can have them on the leash here. All sorts of great little restaurants and shops right off of Ocean. We're on the backside of Ocean right now. And it means uh, Cayucos in, in English, that translates to little kayak or something like that. Kayak in Spanish, because this place was, uh, you know, not discovered, but um, it was explored by the Spanish back in the 1700s and 1800s. And the natives were here, and we all know what happened to them, unfortunately, but the, the Spaniards named it Cayucas because they saw the kayaks that the uh, natives had here. So that's a little history about the town. So we're cruising right along Ocean Avenue right here. Again, this is where uh, the focal point of the town is. And by the way, this is an unincorporated uh, town. So it's not, um, there's no police station, there's no city government. It's an unincorporated uh, little community. Um, some of the main spots that I like when I come here, you got Hidden Kitchen right across the street. That's an amazing breakfast and brunch place. Highly recommended. You can see there's a line out in front of it. Very, uh, very common there. 
You got some cool uh, surf shops right here to the right. This used to be a dope old uh, saloon. I think it's been closed for some time now. Not quite sure why, but it's an old, 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 old uh, building. Used to be a great saloon. Uh, again, on the, on, left, uh, on the left hand side, you've got one of the better Italian restaurants in the county, Ca Cafe Della Via. Very good spot. I think they open up at five. And then you got schooners a little bit further down. That's a good seafood place. You got barking seagulls up here on the roof. And just a cool little downtown. I mean, this is it. I mean, it's really pretty much just along Ocean Avenue. Uh, antique stores, man, how many, how many of those are here? Five, six, I think. Probably four or five real estate offices. My goodness. And then we're gonna end up down at uh, one of my favorite local spots, Duckies. They do good uh, clam chowder, seafood, and things like that. So highly recommended uh, these well, four restaurants that I just pointed out. All right, so we ended up at my favorite spot in town, Duckies. Got a little assortment of some seafood. We got some calamari strips, crab cakes, clam chowder that I'm not gonna eat because I don't want to talk during the video. But um, real estate here for 2023, um, there's only 39 single family home sales total. So not a lot of transactions out here. The median sales price, as I mentioned earlier, was about 1.45 million. So it's expensive over here. That's the median price. Um, Days on market was only 20, so uh, properties here tend to sell pretty quickly. Uh, we're gonna actually gonna check out two homes here shortly. We're gonna look at one not far from here. It was actually the, the most expensive home sold here last year for six million bucks. And then we're gonna go up the street after that and look at uh, one that was uh, more along the median uh, price of about 1.4, 1.5. And we're gonna see what that home looks like and kind of compare the two and see which one uh, uh, would possibly fit your budget if you wanna move out here. And as you can see here, so this is a early February, 2023. Look around, I mean, not a cloud in the sky. This is technically winter. And uh, we're uh, probably mid 60s at the beach in Cayucos here. So obviously this comes into play when, it, uh, when we think about the overall cost of living in California, especially on the coast. I mean, this is part of the reason why people pay so much damn money to live here. Uh, 65 degrees, not light, light breeze. You got people out in the water surfing. They're not scared of the, uh, <laughs> the temperature. They're not scared of the sharks. Uh, people are out on the pier having a great day. We had a nice lunch at Duckies just a second ago. And we're gonna go check out that $6 million house over on Pacific Avenue right now. All right, so here we are. You want to see a $6 million house. Uh, the house right behind me with the white car sold last August for six million bucks. It was on the market for about five months. It started off at 6.5 million, eventually sold about five months later, as I said, for six million. But this house is wild. I mean, check out the photos that uh, we're gonna see here in a second. It's a four bedroom, five bath. Uh, obviously it's right on the ocean, three levels. It's exquisite on the inside. Uh, living area was about 3,800 square feet. Uh, built in 2014, custom uh, throughout. This house is absolutely amazing. The price per square foot, by the way, is about $1,600. So uh, if you guys are looking to move to uh, Cayucas or San Luis Obispo County, then this is obviously gonna be one of the higher priced homes. Uh, maybe not in everybody's budget, but if it is, then bless your heart. So uh, some quick math, if you wanted to finance this, this is actually kind of entertaining here. If you wanted to finance this house, uh, you're probably gonna need to put down 30%, which is a $1.8 million down payment, not counting closing costs. Uh, if you're gonna use a 30 year fixed rate at let's call it six and a half percent, you're all in monthly payment with property taxes, insurance, uh, principal and interest is going to be about $33,000 a month. So probably not in everybody's budget, but uh, do with that what you will. And that's a $6 million house here in Cayucos uh, sold last year for uh, in about f uh, five months. So let's go look at a more modestly priced home. It sold for about 1.4, 1.5 on the other side of town. So uh, a little bit more of a modest neighborhood. Um, again, the median home sales price in Cayucos last year was about 1.45 million, 1.45 million. And I think a lot of these houses kind of fall into that category versus the 6 million we just saw uh, facing the ocean. And uh, specifically, we're gonna come up on a little uh, like mint greenhouse on our left here on 17th Street. This one sold last uh, April in four days for 1.325 million bucks. Right there, a little two-story 
1,400 square feet, give or take, two bed, two bath. Small lot size, 3,000 square foot lot, built in 1950. It looks like it's been remodeled since it sold, by the way, because the photos, as you can see, the photos online, when it was listed, this thing was completely dated. It looked like it was in good shape, but it was completely dated and it still sold for 1.3 million bucks and change, which is just wild. So um, there you have it. So you got 6 million down the street facing the ocean. You got 1.325 here. And I would uh, imagine most of these homes in this neighborhood fall into that 1.3 to 1.6 million dollar range so that's kind of what you get here in Cayucas California if you guys are looking to uh, move to Slow County at any point or if you just have any questions reach out to me anytime call text or email I am always happy to answer any questions well there you have it Cayucas California in uh, February 2023 I will see you on the next video